Hey, what's going on, fellas? KDK here. Just want to give you a quick update. So I know a lot of you want to know exactly what the Raspberry Pi 5 can do. And unfortunately, uh, you haven't seen a, a lot of reviews or any reviews showing you what the Pi 5 can really do. The Raspberry Pi 5, in terms of what new emulators you, you can run, what are the processes, what can it handle, how does it even compare to the RK3588, which is the Orange Pi 5. You guys know I've been developing this. I've been working with this with the Supreme Team since January of this year. So I wanted to make this quick video uh, to give you a better, better understanding so you can see it for yourself of what processes are going on in the background. Now, uh, you really can't do that from emulation station, so I am on the desktop version on Pixel through emulation station. So as you can see, right now I am using about 23% of eight gigabytes of RAM. Right now we have Dolphin activated, which is using 800 megabytes. Emulation Station 319. Uh, we also have Asterix 2. This is the PlayStation 2 emulator. This emulator is the only thing on here that I know that can push the Orange Pi 5. You guys know the Orange Pi 5 has eight different cores, two different clock speeds. You have four quad core chips that are clocked at 1.8 gigahertz, and then the other four are clocked at 2.4. So, this would be the only defining test to find out how this compares to the Raspberry Pi 5. Unfortunately, you guys haven't seen any of that. But, so as you can see, this is using 65 megabytes. But when I use PlayStation 2, I've played Time Crisis and a couple of other games. My Orange Pi 5 with this heat sink and with this fan gets up to about 61 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 and... 60 something Fahrenheit. I want to want to say I can't remember the exact number, but anyway, that's pretty hot. That's the hottest temp I've ever got. That's the only program that has really pushed it to this limit. So uh, let's back up. We want to go ahead and take a quick look at some of the performances on here, so you guys can see this for yourself. As you can see, we are using 29% of eight gigabytes. This is why I recommend it. Don't get the four gigabytes. Now, if you're running emulation station and everything else, typically for gaming, you're gonna only have one emulator open at any given time. Four gigabytes should suffice, but I always like to have a little bit of extra room. But if this was a four gigabyte, keep in mind, this will be at 50% of RAM usage. I'm not even running anything right now. If I was running it, uh, this would actually go up a little bit more as well as some other things. But there we have it, uh, CPU usage, this is a new build I'm actually working on. So you can see the minimum frequency right now. We're at 1.8 gigahertz. Nothing's really running right now. And uh, this is using the big little architecture. I'll explain all that in another video. Too long to explain right here. So uh, there you go. That's pretty much what we're using. I think the biggest defining factor with the Raspberry Pi 5 is going to be what does this GPU clock at uh, with the Raspberry Pi 5? Because nobody knows has any specs I've tried to find it in the FCC database, look it up in the United States database. It's nowhere. It's not in any bench test. The only bench test you're going to have is whatever Jeff Sterling and what some of the other YouTubers have because you can't find it anywhere. Uh, it's not like NVIDIA or AMD. You can run a bench test and then have some specs on it because it's uh, proprietary to the Raspberry Pi 5. So, uh I don't know how that's really going to compare to the Mali GPU. We'll just have to wait and see. But again, just wanted to give you guys a quick overlook in terms of what the uh, Raspberry Pi 5 is up against in terms of competition. I've been satisfied with this, but we do know the Raspberry Pi has a big, com bigger community as far as compiling uh, additional drivers. That's been a pain in the butt over here. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. But anyway, just wanted to give, keep you this quick update so you guys can see what you're getting into, uh, what the specs uh, will typically look like in terms of emulation and gaming performance. I speculate that the Raspberry Pi 5 should be able to do PS2, no problem, but we'll have to see how those overclocked chips will be able to handle it. Uh, but yeah, I'll get into that in a little bit more in a later video, but you guys all have a great night. KDK here signing out. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.